So you saw the girl on the third floor. I did see the girl on the third floor. CM Punk movie, right? I mean, that's pretty much what it's known as. Even though it was directed by Travis Stevens, oh, and Travis to my Stevens. knowledge, CM Punk didn't like didn't direct it or do anything like that. Produce he's just kind of a star. Just, yeah. I don't think he has a producing credit. Oh, no, he's the main character. He is the main character. Don, that was his name. So we yeah. got CM Punk playing the character of Don Cock. Don Cock. Don Cock. I don't know if it's Don Cock, but it's Don Cock. K O C H. Yeah, K O C H. Oh, and that's okay. Cuck. So, Don Cuck. There we go. Or Koch. Koch. I think it's Cuck, though. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's, he's fixing up this, like, old Victorian-style house that him and his wife just purchased, and they're on their way to move in from the uh, hustle and bustle of Chicago to basically the quiet streets of where this haunted is. haunted house. Yeah, basically any typical horror haunted house yeah. scenario. With... A bit more of a twist, though, because yeah. I mean, there's like a, a generally understood that there's some form of curse over the house. And yes, I know because it's also like I just said, haunted house, like American Horror Story. It's like literally that exact same plot. You're saying it's it's Murder House. Murder House, yes. Thank okay. You, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Definitely the best season of American Horror oh, Story 100%. for sure. I mean, yeah, because it's. I mean. It's the story of a husband mm -hmm. who fucked up, mm -hmm. who he had cheated on his wife, his With wife. Ghost. But even before Find that, out it's a, yes. before that, even which um, he did this, as well. Yeah, the whole even before they're moving into this house, they're in their previous life. Don's not such a great guy. No, he, he actually is. Was um, Dylan McDermott. He had cheated on his wife as well mm -hmm. before they moved to Murder House. That's why. But the difference is, though, is Don Cook was also. Um, he had committed some sort of white collar crime beforehand. Yes, that had yes. gotten. He had found some way to get off the hook, whether he cut some kind of deal. Because there's, he yeah. meets up with an FBI agent yeah. in the beginning, and he's kind of asking him how he's affording this house now that he's mm -hmm. he's penniless following this. Well, he was like stealing people's retirement fund, basically. Yeah, it was their pen stealing money yeah. from their pension funds or something like that. And his wife was the one who was then financing this house that yeah. they're moving into, which kind of shows right off the bat that our main protagonist character isn't too much of a nice guy, mm -hmm. which we can agree. And I mean, everyone around him kind of gives him these second chances, and that's kind of what the movie is based off of. It's them trying Murder to give house. their... Oh. <laughs> yeah. Them trying it to give their relationship is. a second chance. It literally, in that sense, but I mean, it's not, I wouldn't, if someone asked me, I wouldn't say that it copied Murder House. I mean, think about it though, the messed up kid, that's, that was also from Murder House that lives in the basement. But there's not a kid. I, I know, it's a little girl, just she's in the attic, not in the basement. Right. But she's not a little girl, she's like an, an adult woman. Yeah, but she was a little girl. She was the girl on the third floor. Because that's like what it, it's... Because she was the... Right? You understand that? No. Oh, okay. But just keep going. Because she was, she was the girl in the, in the stories that when this house was a brothel, and that's how we meet our other ghostly character, Sarah. And she's basically the... I want to say she's like the maid of Murder House. She basically tricks... Which again, we have an, we have another movie here where the female is basically seducing the male, and they're taking the bait. But of course, they're going to take the bait. Oh, true. But the difference between this one and Knock Knock though is that Keanu Reeves' character was like a genuinely good guy that has yeah. his wiener taken out and forcibly sucked on. Don definitely didn't need to have his uh, pee pee taken out though. He no, definitely he willingly didn't. took his pee pee out on his yeah. own. His so dog even tried to. Get him to stop. Not, yeah, to not that dog knew what was up. I mean, technically though, I mean he didn't though, because I mean it was a ghost. The dog so. and the friend kind of both yell at him for yeah, the, using, the way he uses the scene. Yeah, the dog scene was messed up, and it wasn't his friend; it was her friend. Uh, yeah, but it's a friend of theirs. Yeah, friend of hers. Yeah, but you know when you're in a relationship, that's not your boy. That's not. I mean, maybe it wasn't his boy, that's but he definitely enemy. came and did a that boy ass the thing. Enemy. Yeah. Yeah. He did a boy-ass thing. He came over to help him with his renovations. Yeah, but remember, there was like that, uh, he's like, what are you doing? He's like, it's Saturday, dude. 
you, what do you mean? Of course I'm here. He's like, oh, okay. And they well, yeah, because by that point, he was already losing his mind. They, That's why yeah. he didn't realize that but he But they was... also, like, weren't really because when he cheated, like, when he was threatening then Sarah Ghost, you know? Yeah. He's like, dude, why would you do that? Like, if that was your boy, you're like, dude, what are you doing? And then you never say a word. He was like, I'm going to tell her. That's your, that's the enemy. That's I mean, the that's enemy. just somebody who's friends with both of them. No. That's someone who's friends with her. And is trying to slam her. Oh, man. Yes or no? Maybe. No, I you know just slam. slam. You, I think he wanted to. Maybe. He's a pretty handsome guy, though. Maybe he just but slams like, on his own, though. But, like, yeah, I'm sure, maybe, but, like... But he needs to slam it I'm all. I'm talking about proto... Like, you don't do that. That's the protocol. He wouldn't even bring up the idea of, dude, I'm gonna tell your pregnant wife, fiancé, whatever. So you would like, say well, that this guy got what he deserved, then, for holding this no. little threat over, over Don's head? No. I'm t saying they're not boys. That's all I'm there. They are not boys. Okay. I mean, they're definitely not boys after this scenario. Yeah. Because uh, Milo's dead. I mean, he's not the only one that would end up dead in this movie yeah. anyway. But as we go along here, we also have another pretty painful death. The, yeah, the first one was painful looking because well, of the... Well, the first one, and then there's a second kind of, which was, that was a real turn of events. Like, I was not expecting it in that movie. Like, CM Punk to just, like, oh, okay, like, we gotta talk about this now. After Milo's been, like, killed, and then he just kills Harry. He's like, boom. Yeah. And then he yells at his wife because he's so angry that he had to kill another girl. Probably again for cheating. Oh, man, maybe. Yeah. Maybe they have a patio back at their old house well, that has he, a girl bearing He's like a chick that. magnet. That's why the girl was just drawn to him. Well, you know that's what the CM stands yes, for. Yes, I do. So, yes, you did I that do. on purpose, didn't you? I did. Well, good for you. Let's talk about how this is like a CM Punk movie that like, I mean, there aren't too many CM Punk movies nowadays. This yeah. happened after his exit from the WWE. This was, um, this was actually pre-UFC, I believe. Okay. I could be wrong. Does it really matter? Just a, no. Yeah. But, as we know, CM Punk obviously left the WWE and he failed had, at UFC. Yeah, failed at UFC. He's didn't, a commentator now. Didn't fail at horror movie acting, though, because he did a pretty, pretty good I think you'd be surprised to say that I actually enjoyed his acting. His this. acting was, like, Good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, even though like the vomit scene was fake when he finds his dead dog, which that was shitty. That was like, damn, what that dog yeah. ever do? Oh yeah, I know, right? You know, that dog was only see. That's a that's a homie. We can see we can see scenarios of like people getting what they not what they deserve because I wouldn't say that Milo deserved a death here, but pe there's a lot of cause and effect here that comes from not being straight up. You see that, you know, uh, CM Punk's character, Don, his, his lies just seem to add up yeah. as things go on in this movie. Obviously, it starts off, he shouldn't have banged the girl. After that, he should have told his wife. What does is, what is he do instead? He, he kind of convinces the other guy, I don't give a fuck. Like, don't be around if you're not going to. And well, then that's the, the guy that's, killed. Yeah, gets well, that's what I'm killed. saying. What if, like, like, Milo died because he didn't tell her? Because, like, if you look at it, like, the FBI never, agent never went in the house, so, like, mm. like, and the, because, like, the, the symbolism of, like, the lady who's, like, the church thing, like, how she, she knows what goes on there, but she's constantly there, she never goes in the house, but she knows, and it's, like, a test on whether or not you go to her or this house, so it's, like, you could say, like, I don't know, like, that the church is like a savior like safe place and just a house is from hell like that's what it's supposed to be like it's mm -hmm. a house from hell that's what it seems like yeah and if you're bad because she was able to leave right because she wasn't drawn in by the temptation and that's what it seems like this is all about temptation for well that it was also Dawn. funny well i think it was also like 
Because when she does talk to the lady at the end, when she is telling her it's a test and this and that, like, she probably, like, there was temptation, but she smashed that weird-looking girl's head, which was so funny. Oh, yeah, the nymph. Yeah, which I didn't understand that. Like, her existence or what? No, I understand that that was the little girl, but the little girl didn't look like that, I'm sure. Yeah. Why was her head, like, she had, like, a mouth here, mouth here... Yeah, her shit was all fucked up. Yeah, it? why? And she had some wicked marble powers. Yeah, the, like, marble death scene with that uh, dawn so, was, like, ridiculous. I mean, um, uh, like, unless, like, he, like, that guy was, like, the devil. Which, uh... Which guy? Like, the guy who was giving the girl, like, the little girl marbles. Mm. I don't know. That was all just weird. And never yeah, explain. Yeah, the like weird. Like, like, so like CM Punk found the pictures, and then boom, marble in his skin. And we actually should talk about this for a sec, because like the marbles traveling up his like leg in his skin, and he keeps cutting underneath the marble when it's going up. Yeah. And then at one point when it's at his neck, he finally cuts at the marble. And it's just, like, not there. It's just, like, it keeps going up. Like, you would think when it was down here, he would have... Just, like, sliced, like, yeah. right here while it was down there. Yeah. yeah. And, like, yeah. maybe made a tourniquet or something. Yeah. Well, you know, he's not a doctor. I know, but he, he has a bunch of tattoos. He seems rough for a white-collar businessman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, he's seen some shit. One thing that's funny about... Um, because CM Punk is like, he's known as being the straight edge guy, cross his knuckles, says drug free, and kept those tattoos for this one too, even though he's drinking a lot of booze throughout the movie. Yeah. So it's just, it's a funny, does it play into yeah, Don's was, character of just being a dishonest type dude, maybe? Yeah. It, could kind, of, it could kind of play Because he lies to his wife. Because he's like, oh, it's just junk everywhere. Like, because apparently it's a problem. Yeah, it seems so. like it's a, it was definitely a conversation because she had seen it in the background. Yeah. And, or maybe CM Punk wanted that in to be like, gotta show people what it what happens. I wanted to show like, hey, by the way, this guy's a piece of shit. We should also have drinks. him drinking alcohol mm-hmm. too, because you know correlations. Yup. I have no fucking idea. Maybe CM Punk's not that much of a douchebag, but the movie was pretty goddamn good. Yeah, I would say, and uh, like. The movie's kind of hailed as having, like, it's for its cinematography. Really? Because I was going to talk about the exact opposite. Oh, you didn't like the cinematography? Yeah, I thought it was pretty poor. Really? Yeah, I actually think it did, like, a hinder to CM Punk. Phil is his name. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was Chick Magnet. Yeah, well, his real name's Phil. Fuck. I know, sorry to break my heart. I mean, how many spooky ghosts would you give this one? Um, I want to hear yours first, because I feel like you'd be surprised by mine. Oh, really? I feel. Um, for what this movie is, it's an hour and a half, which hits the mark perfectly for me for a horror movie. Okay. About 90 minutes. Um, good effects make up a good, or, like, <clears throat> as far as haunted house stories, this is a good original story that... Contrary to what Joe thinks about the parallels with American Horror Story, I think this is... You were sitting here agreeing with me. I No, I, I <laughs> do agree with it, but I wouldn't also say, like I had also do said... Do you want to recalculate your score? Are you going to adjust for that? No, because no. like I had said previously, if someone asked me about it, I wouldn't say that it was a rip-off okay. of American Horror Story Murder House. Okay. But I would probably give it like... Three and a half out okay. of five spooky ghosts. Because okay. I would I would say it's a solid movie and definitely would recommend anybody who's a wrestling fan from you know the 2010 ish era in WWE would definitely want to see CM Punk. Well, would stuff. you say this is better or worse than Hunter Acres at Hell? Um, too different to compare. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think I would give this one a two nine. A two nine. A two nine. All right. Yeah. It Why? Wasn't, it wasn't bad. I enjoyed it. The only thing that I thought sucked was the shots. I thought it was, like, too close in on their face the whole time. Yeah. Like, you're saying, like, there was good. I didn't see any of that. Okay. I like the uniqueness of that, and it sets this very, like... But I didn't even see that. 
I feel like the tone of this movie is gross and uncomfortable. Like, whenever there were scenes of, like, Sarah and Dawn talking, or Milo and Dawn talking, or his fiance or wife, whatever, and him talking, it was always the same distance. It was, like, right here, the camera. Mm. And it would show, like, their shoulders and face. I feel like it was very still. Yeah, but the conversations weren't necessarily when these subtle, eerie tone shots that were in it were kind of sets these sets this idea that things are watching them throughout the movie. Yeah, yeah. Like That's kind of more so like, what I'm yeah, in the dialogue. Yeah. No, that was cool. That was nice. Like, when it's mm. focusing in on the door that's behind him. Right. As opposed to, like, him, which, like, in, in a horror movie, it would be the opposite. They'd focus more so on him and then show, like, something in the background. Right. This, they were like, ooh, look at this. But more so with the uh, dialogue, not so much of a contrast. Because like you said, it's, mm. it's pretty much the same shit. Right? Yeah. 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 But I wouldn't watch this movie for the dialogue anyway, because I don't think there's any much that's said that it's not very much a quotable movie. Well, I mean, for the most part, well, yeah, but... I, but, it's a, uh, but I would say that it's a visually, visually striking movie. It's something that wants to keep your attention throughout, because... Like I said, there's a lot of gruesome, like, there's gross, grotesque, a lot of fluids that yeah. points. There are houses that are, the well, that's house is yeah. bleeding at points. I didn't, it was, like, jizzing at some points as well. Yeah, and CM Punk picks up jizz off the bed at one point, a jizzy um, condom. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's a brothel. Yeah, it was. So it had to have been ghost jizz. Yeah? Which begs the question, did he really even, because... Well, if, that's what you know, I was talking about. If you about stick your hand in ghost jizz, is it really is it gay? It's a ghost. Well, if he has sex with a girl ghost, is it cheating? Is it cheating? Because if I mean, one's yes, the other's yes. One's no, the other's That's no. true. That's true. You decide. <laughs>